Hello everyone, this is Tint and today we will talk about domain and subdomain, how to add to our cPanel. So this is uh, my domain which I bought uh, techwithdrawings.com, I will add uh, to my cPanel which is this. So first we uh, need to go to your uh, service provider of your hosting, hosting service provider and just uh, my service provider is group host and then you have to uh, select your plant web hosting and uh, then you have to click on the manage domain and here are uh, you gonna find your name server of your hosting just uh, these are my name server ns391 and ns392 so i want to add this name servers to my domain just click on manage in a good ad and then you can click manage dns and here uh, okay and these are the name server so we want to change so just click on change and you have to just copy and paste your name server from your hosting provider so uh, this uh, i have already added so you have to just copy uh, this name servers ns31 uh, 392 and 393 uh, three something like 391 and 392 and you can save uh, this name servers and uh, then uh, we have to go inside our cpanel if you don't have cpanel uh, contact your hosting provider and they will uh, give uh, this type of the cpanel and you have to log in and this is it it, it will looks like and you have to just uh, find a domain just type here domain and this is domain and subdomain so on to add uh, add-ons domain just click on uh, add-ons domain just click and it will open this form and you have to just type your domain so my domain is techwithdrench.com you can type your one and nothing uh, and add domain after you add uh, automatically directly has been created inside a file manager and uh, click on a file manager and select your domain uh, okay, uh, it will automatically create it uh, file man um, inside a file manager. It will uh, create a directory and go to your domain and it will looks like, but it is a blank. But inside I have already uh, one website, but it will uh, show in this list. So we have to add uh, uh, our website which you have created locally. So just click on upload and just find your project. So this is my project playing project. Just drag it and drop it here and it's fine. Done. We have done. And uh, after uh, 10 to 30 minutes uh, your domain will activate it. Uh, I will uh, activate it and uh, you can uh, open in your browser okay the next thing is a subdomain so we want to add a subdomain just click on subdomain this is same process you can type your subdomain or subdomain subdomain is a child domain of your parent domain so my parent domain uh, so okay this is just minute. I'll show you just minute okay so the stint is a subdomain and parent domain you can select it here so parent domain I'm gonna select tech.com and you have to create so this will also create a uh, directory inside a file manager this is file manager it will automatically create a stint you can see it here so you can also upload your uh, projects and you can also install your uh, wordpress uh, whatever you can uh, use so next uh, video we will uh, see uh, about uh, create account of your cpanel and how we can use so it's a simple process uh, so thank